In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create shapes in Chart.js. As you can see here, this looks all maybe very basic, but this here is just a version of what you can see here. A nice arrow with, or at least here, a line and the arrowhead here. And these, of course, are all very customized. And this is one of my Udemy items. But you can see in here, learning just these kind of things will give you a stepping stone into customizing your chart even deeper. So let's explore this. In this video, we're going to focus on how to draw triangles in chart yet. And the reason why you want to draw triangles is to create something unique. So let me show you exactly because this is one of my charts on Udemy. And you can see here we have these very nice triangles being drawn in here. And this is absolutely fascinating. And once you start to learn how to draw shapes, you can create unique styles of charts. So let's start to work with this and let's start to draw a simple triangle in Chart.js or in the canvas itself. So to do this, make sure you go to chartjs3.com getting started. And you might notice this here, for some reason Google Chrome gives me this error. Anyway, we're going to copy the default code here. If we scroll down here, we're going to copy this chunk of code. And once we copy that, we go back here and we're going to just paste that in here. Once we have that, I'm going to cut out the title, put the title in there. All right. And finally here, save this and refresh. So to draw a shape on Chart.js, we need to create a special plugin to trigger that up, or to trigger that. So how will we do that? Well, to create a plugin is very straightforward. In here in the options, at the very bracket or curly brace with the option, we do comma, and then we say plugins. And this plugin, I'll just give it a very simple name. This is basically our drawing. And this is just the constant that we're going to use. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to say here, this will be our drawings plugin. And then in here, the following we're going to say is the constant. It must be a constant with the same name of drawing. Equal and then curly braces. And then in here, we're going to say ID. And this ID will be the drawing itself doesn't matter so much we will not use this feature anyway for now and then what we're going to say here is after draw this is the drawing time which is very essential to remember because when would you like to show something and i'm going to show you later why this has impact so and then we can say here default parameters i'm going to say a chart arcs and options and it's in here we're going to start to draw so if you want to do that we need to say first of course constant and then do an object destruction, we say ctx equals chart. And this is necessary because we want to grab basically, not the chart, but we want to get the canvas itself. So now we can say ctx, which is the canvas, and I say save, all right? And once we did this, we can now start to draw. Drawing a triangle can be extremely tricky because how you need to draw is you need to think in x and y coordinates. So now it's quite easy. And figuring out the exact coordinates you can get from your chart is quite tricky as well. Then that's a whole different story. For now, I will only focus just on drawing a simple, simple item. So how are we going to do that? Or how do we draw a basic triangle? Because you might have seen the rectangles. They are very easy. But triangle is a slightly different story. So what we're going to say here is the following. We're going to say a CTX begin path. It's capital P, and this would indicate we're going to start to draw something. What exactly? Well, we're going to say now the location or the coordinates where we start. So, for example, if you would like to have somewhere in here, well, let's say we're going to get this point here. I'm not sure exactly how many pixels that is, so we're going to figure that out step by step. I'm just going to do hard coded pixels here. And so, let's say, well, if this is 700 pixels. This here probably will be 350. So let's put in 350 pixels in here. And from there on, we can just easily work along. So then what we're going to say here is the following. We're going to say here, uh, CTX, and then we're going to say, move to. And this move to, with capital T, will be the starting point. So this is the X value, and this is the Y value, or the coordinates. So in our case, we want 350, because we know that the width of this is 350, or sorry, not, not even 350. The width of this is 700, so in the center should be 350. So what we could do here, maybe we want to go down a bit, let's say 
50 pixels it will go maybe somewhere here down i'm not sure exactly where you can do that here so if i save this and refresh you might not see anything and the reason why is because we didn't do anything except selecting the starting point so now we're going to start drawing so we're going to say here now a ctx that line two and then in here we can check so if you want to draw a line and this is the tricky part so or a triangle so right now imagine we will be here and we want to go here to the left a little bit down so that would mean that we need to go left how many pixels will we go left and then how many pixels are we going down so left and then down and that will be basically the coordinates so let's say for now we're just going to the left 20 pixels and down 20 pixels as well so let's see that one so to do that if you go to the left in canvas you need to deduct and the reason why is this is zero here for left and going to the right is up to 700 so that will mean here this line will be 350 or 330 and then here we're going down if and then this is also a tricky one the top is equal zero down is 350 or the height the full height of the canvas so that would mean if we want we are here and we want to make a, a triangle going down or going to the left and down we need to add a value here how much well in this case we're going to add 20 pixels on top of 50 so 7 50 plus 20 equals 70. once we did this we need another line which will be the closing line maybe this line two will be the following so we have this here and then we want to go back to that side here or how much we need to go back well if it would start here we were here first and this would be uh let's see how much was that 330 so we need to go back to 350 and from 350 we do again plus 20 would be three 370. so as you can see here now we run then you go 370 pixels to the right and then finally we want a flat line and the flat line means we don't move the y value that would mean that this will stay 70 pixels once we did this we need to give it a color and we're going to say ctx and then we're going to say fill style and this fill style can be let's say black for now very straightforward and finally we want to close this so we say ctx dot fill we're going to fill the entire shape so if i save this now and i refresh we can see here now we have done it nicely and this is basically how we can do this and we can move this down or higher of course we cannot move this too much down because if you move this too much down this will probably not work well or you can do this 390 let's see here if you, what happened then oh as you can see here it makes all weird shapes oh, no not there sorry but let's say uh refresh this let's say you want to go down and point it down instead of up if you want to point this down what you need to do is if 70 is the default so that means 70 would be here and you want to go down here you put this here plus 20 would make this here the 90 value save this refresh and now you change this as well so you can see here with this you can play around step by step and i'll be honest with you it is quite a tricky item you just have to recalculate you have to think in x and y coordinates however once you start to understand this this becomes powerful because with this you can start to do more and more for example well let's for the final exercise let's try to hit this point here so to estimate this well we can just go down here right now i'll just do it very simple in pixels we have to figure out what is the uh item itself here we need to get the flat line here first uh sorry that's not the flat line we need to go here we need to figure out the height of this that's the, the 70 these two 70 should go, go down here matching this so let's say here i assume that this 70 maybe it is not 70 but 150 and this one is also 150 save that so now we're pushing it down i know i want to push it even more down here how much that would be of course there's a way to do it with calculations I'll, I'll do that next time i'll show you exactly how however it's such a tricky tricky thing to play with so let's save this go down here a bit but we're almost there i guess 80 by 80 save that refresh there you are i think we can go a little bit higher here there will be maybe 75 by 75 so if i save that now 
there all right 77 by 77 and then save there you are all right so now we have this and what i want to do is i want to connect the very uh, endings of these so to do that we need to calculate here the width basically and this is 370 and this is 330 remember because the 350 is here and if i look at this well it could be maybe if this is 370 let's go here maybe that will be 390 what i want to do is before i even continue on i'm going to remove the, the tooltip because the tooltip is distracting us so i'm going to say here to tip this but enable enable false save that refresh there we are and then push it here so how do you push that one more there let's put this on 400 maybe save that so 400 in width well that is almost so i will accept uh, maybe three 398 i'm not sure if that is correct but i'll just do it and i think that is quite acceptable all right so to calculate now how do we get here in the center well basically what we need to calculate is the difference of these two and then plus the base the base is 350 right now so and then we need to calculate the difference divide by two and then plus the base so let's calculate that quickly uh let's play here i'll just put in a console log or we can just do it in here console log and then we say what do we want to say we want to say this number minus 330 and then eventually we'll say that divide by two then we have to make sure that this gets priority over the division so if i save this we should get a number out and what that number will be is our number that is 34 all right so that will mean that 34 plus 330 would be the value so our point here should be the following so 30 that's 364 all right so how i did get how i get that oh sorry not not even what we need to do is if we do that we're going down so we need to go up here all right so what i will have to do then is here i need to deduct 330 minus 34 that will be eventually uh oh i need to keep that one here what is that that will be 296. let's remove everything else save that refresh oh not even sorry and um, that was of course the width i'm talking about the width so i am making a mistake again that will be 364. So we need to do 330 plus 34. Save this now and let's see now we get that. There you are. And now we have basically a, a shape on top of a bar. Of course, we can do a lot more, but this is just showing you some of these items because understanding how to make arrows and drawing stuff on the canvas will be useful because they can customize a lot of extra and new things. So if you enjoyed this video, because this video shows you a little bit of how to create a plugin and how to draw simple items. And maybe you want to go more advanced. I would highly recommend you to check out this one. It's how to create an arbitrary line with text. And this one is quite easy compared to the triangle. However, if you can do this, you can probably also put a nice triangle in there as well. So you can practice your skills a little bit more. So absolutely recommended to watch.